Hey everyone, we made it to Nashville. I'm in Nashville uh, with a friend of mine. This will be a very short trip, very like a weekend trip pretty much. Um, and this is my first time in Nashville, so I'm looking forward to it and I'm looking forward to taking you guys along. <music> My friend KB and I stayed at Spring Hill Suites in downtown Nashville, Tennessee. They had a friendly staff and a good breakfast. But you have to act fast if you want a waffle, because once breakfast is over, the waffle maker is the first to go. Our hotel was within walking distance of most of the downtown Nashville sights and sounds. It was a beautiful day, so we had no worries walking to grab a bite to eat. Downtown Nashville has a great dynamic of tall buildings reminiscent of large cities to the openness and warmth of a Midwestern town. The Bridgestone Arena, which is home to the NHL Predators, Ryman Auditorium, Fifth and Broadway, and the Country Music Hall of Fame are all located in downtown Nashville. There's also another music museum in downtown, but we'll get to that after we eat. We stopped in the assembly food hall to fill our hungry bellies. We surveyed what was available and decided on the one and only Princess Hot Chicken. Princess Hot Chicken has been around for decades. This safely guarded hot chicken recipe is said to be the recipe for the OG hot chicken. We decided on the mild, which was flavorful with a kick. We needed to cool down, so we got treats from cotton and snow. As you can imagine, I did not finish my treat. Not only can you visit the Country Music Hall of Fame, but you can also learn a lot of African American music history at the National Museum of African American Music, located next door to the Assembly Food Hall. So much thought was put into making this a beautiful, insightful, and educational museum for people of all ages. It was amazing seeing trailblazing musicians from before my time blended so uniquely with musicians who are currently carrying the torch for African Americans in music. It was time for us to see the heart of downtown Fifth and Broadway. This strip has honky-tonk bars, restaurants, and souvenir shops all huddled together in historic buildings. Of course, we had to check out some of the cowboy and cowgirl essentials. We stopped in for a light dinner and of course drinks at Bungalow 10, located about a mile from Vanderbilt University. After dinner, we ended the night enjoying karaoke at Wannabe's Karaoke Bar on Broadway. Here to my left, on the ground in the middle there, you're going to see a bunch of squares on the ground. Those squares that you see there represent the Music City Walk of Fame. Um, the next day, we hopped on one of the Old Town trolleys and enjoyed an informational tour of Nashville. It was a great way to see more of the city while resting our feet. If you plan on sightseeing in Nashville, I highly recommend this tour.
While on the tour, we got a chance to visit the Nashville Farmer's Market. While inside, we picked up some souvenirs. Did you know the Goo Goo Cluster was created in Nashville? Later that evening, we decided on pizza. And what better place to get pizza in Nashville than Slim and Huskies? The ambiance is youthful and chill, and the food is chef's kiss. Finally, the reason for this trip we got the opportunity to see a few of our favorite podcast hosts from Here's the Thing podcast, Kev on stage, That Chick Angel, and of course, Joshi. They did not disappoint. How y'all feel, man? Woo! Woo! We fit a lot into 48 hours and a beautiful skyline to wrap it all up in a bow. By the way, Papa Do's is always a good choice, even if it's in an airport during your layover. Headed home. I'm ready to get home. Thanks for watching. Enjoy where you're at and where you be.